Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about the CrowdStrike outage and how you can avoid cyber criminals that are taking advantage of this unfortunate situation. On July 19th, CrowdStrike issued an update which took Windows computers down across the globe. People who experienced this glitch had to deal with the blue screen of death, which we all know and love and hate, uh, with a constant reboot. And there were, I, I don't even know how to describe it, but probably the largest IT outage uh, ever. But anyway, computers all over the globe were affected by this update and it shut major businesses down. Now, most of uh, most people think that it was a cyber breach, but that's definitely not the case. This was directly involved with an update from CrowdStrike and their Falcon product, which is an antivirus program that's designed to keep criminals out. The unfortunate thing is, is that this wayward update caused issues and it only affected Windows computers as Macintosh and Linux computers were not affected. Um, this is not a way for you to bash Windows computers because this definitely was not an uh, issue with Microsoft. So in the process of trying to get things up and as cyber criminals always do, criminals have been sending out phishing emails in order to trick people into falling for malicious schemes. And that's always the case when it comes to any IT breach globally that criminals will always seek out and try to get people to fall for a variety of scams. I have to warn you that tech support scams are alive and well and criminals are always taking advantage of people who are unsuspecting or who don't know technology as well as most people uh, would have you believe. Now, one of the things that you have to understand is that with this breach, it does not mean that any blue screen error message that uh, appears on your computer is the CrowdStrike attack. And of our, our blue screen messages occur for a variety of reasons. So just because one pops up doesn't mean that you have issues going on with your computer. Now, as far as cyber crooks taking advantage of this situation, there are a variety of things that you have to worry about in order to make sure that your organiz organization is safe. So number one, you have to understand that cyber crime is a human problem. It doesn't mean, or well, that basically means that criminals aren't able to hack into your devices. Now, if there is remote access software installed on your computer, then criminals who have the same software can log into your computer. But if you don't have anything that leaves an opening to the outside world, then criminals cannot get into your devices. It goes to say too with this CrowdStrike uh, incident that we were dealing with that this goes to show why the US government was adamant about taking Kaspersky antivirus off of government computers and limiting the sales of Kaspersky in the US. CrowdStrike and most antivirus software out there uh, does a pretty good job of reaching into a computer's operating system to monitor not only user files, but system files as well. With CrowdStrike, all it took was an update to take down Windows. And with Kaspersky, it could be something a little bit more malicious where you have a malicious entity, maybe out of Russia or uh, out of a Russia-sponsored country that could cause issues. Now, the good thing about the CrowdStrike outage is that CrowdStrike immediately responded and they were able to help businesses get up and going. But in an instance of a malicious antivirus software, 
then he obviously would no, have no help and you probably would not be able to figure out how to get your computer removed or have Kaspersky removed from a computer and it would take a longer process to restore your computer systems back to default. Now, what can you do in order to make sure that you are staying safe from some of the CrowdStrike based scams that are going around? Well, number one is if you get emails, you have to remember you don't want to click on any malicious links in email or any links in email. If a strange email comes in, especially if it's tech support, uh, you definitely want to ignore that to ensure that you aren't falling for some sort of uh, malicious scheme. Also, you need to be careful because you may be getting phone calls from people that are saying that they're from CrowdStrike and that there may be something else going on that's going to cause issues with your computers. Now, if you're at home, obviously no tech support company is going to call you out of the blue to fix uh, specific issues. But if you're in an office environment, uh, always refer to your IT support team if you get any strange calls coming in saying that IT is going to help you with this issue. It also goes without saying for anyone out there, you don't want to become your own detective when it comes to trying to troubleshoot computer issues. You want to always refer to the resources of an IT professional to ensure that you are getting the best help. And if it's remote, then yes, you want to verify that is from an IT professional that is reputable. Uh, but obviously on site, you can kind of figure out on your own that the IT support is who they say they are and they're going to get you taken care of. Now, let's say that you are having issues with your computer. There are several things that you obviously want to do just in case it ain't a CrowdStrike related site. And then I'll put up a graphic that shows you what you can do to recover from uh, a blue screen. So let's briefly talk about blue screen error messages. I can't believe I didn't get that out. Let's do that again. Blue screen error messages. <laughs> but blue screen error messages are Windows way of letting you know that there is a critical problem with either a software or a piece of hardware on the computer. In today's world, blue screen error messages normally appear because of a bad software driver or that you, I should say hardware driver, but bad software driver that's affecting hardware or bad hardware itself. It's very rare for Windows computers now to display a blue screen error message. But if you get it, beware and understand that you could have a PC piece of failing hardware on your computer. In most instances, it's best to replace the part with a blue screen error message. It's either a hard drive failing or a video card that may be having issues. Now, if you're experiencing issues with what you think may be related from the CrowdStrike um, outage, here is a quick graphic to show you what you can do to recover that. And I know that the Closed captioning may be over the part of it, so let's go over it. So number one, uh, you want to boot your computer into safe mode. And the best way to do that, because I didn't explain that, is to hold down the shift key uh, if possible, um, if you're able to get to the Windows environment, and then ask the computer to reboot itself. It will take you into recovery mode. Once you're in safe mode, Make sure that you are booting with safe mode with network support. Uh, once you get into that, uh, then you want to navigate to uh, the Windows directory folder, System32, Drivers, and then in the CrowdStrike directory, locate the file matching the C-0000, <laughs> that's a lot of zeros, 291 asterisk dot sys, and then delete it then you should be able to boot your computer normally and understand if you're in an office environment and you have some sort of BitLocker encryption on it, you may need the recovery key or just to enter in your encryption. Now, if you're not able to complete this, 
hopefully you have a good backup of your information and then you can just simply uh, just reset your computer back to factory defaults using a Windows flash drive to reinstall Windows or you can go into the Windows recovery and reset it. So with that said, hopefully you did not experience an outage. If you did, leave them in the comments below and what you did to recover your Windows computer. Now Macintosh and Linux users who may be watching this, and you're probably not, they'll make fun of Windows users. Again, this wasn't a Microsoft failure, it was a failure with an antivirus software. So there you go. So with every video, make sure that you like, subscribe, and share it with your friends because I know you know somebody out there that is having issues with technology. Now my goal with every video is to make sure that you are experiencing a whole new world of experiences and ideas with the technology you use at home and at work. I love technology, I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile and thanks for watching.